What is going on guys? Wise here bringing the recap of one of the most recent wars for 2.0. It was a, a ranged matchup versus King Jeffrey. Let's hop on over, check out what happened. Boom, usually on that screen. 84-82 for 2.0. They did sneak away at the victory. It was a very, very good war. Uh, very clean war for both sides. Um, and it really just came down to the TH-10 triple count. Uh, we did uh, get one bully from uh, guns there. It's <clears throat> a mass Valk with that warden just ripping through one of the Town Hall 10s. And then uh, we did have one, two, and three uh, TH-10 trips to there. You see the uh, <clears throat> they cleared the board on us. Da -da -da. And triple Zerds and triple Dirty. So that was a bully, and that was a straight up 10 versus 10. Uh, and then they toot everything else. So, you know, it was a very close war. Uh, just kind of came down to uh, to those last few attacks. So, fantastic job 2.0. Great effort overall. Was very, very happy with, um, you know, the results here. I mean, we, we put forth a really solid plan in this war and executed it well. Uh, very proud of you guys. So, let's just jump right in. I got a bunch of replays I think I want to show you here. So, let's just start down here. What I got? It's 27 DH. <clears throat> Okay, so this little like queen, first of all, open alleyway base alert, right? So DH actually does exactly what I talk about um, being sort of the problem with these alleyway bases. If you can manage to keep your queen up via rages, one or two rages, and just walk in there and get all of that value with your queen, that to me is too much to give up without at least having to use some wall breakers to get tricky doing something, right? Anyhow, uh, so DH goes in here and, you know, since the update, um, these queen walks and queen charges uh, are are still definitely viable. Uh, you just gotta you just gotta be careful of time specifically. Uh, you don't have a lot of time before you can just like look at this. DH has already sent in the kill squad here. Um, funnel has been created. Jump is down. Valks are going right in. Everything's going right in at this queen, and this queen's just gonna kind of walk up in this alley right beside all of this stuff and get everything on the other side via you know her healers keeping her up. CC's already taken care of. <clears throat> defensive queen is now dead just the heel goes down keep those valks up does drop these two balloons too i like on the back end here's here's what i really liked about this attack was the fact that he still brought this lalo uh, for the back end so here comes this one lap hound and he's got 14 balloons he's just going to start scattering in on all these defenses right haste spell even is about to go down i believe right over top this whiz tower maybe on the other side there goes the haste Probably a little bit off. I would have made sure I got those balloons in it. But no big deal. DH is just going to rip through the rest of this base. The air defense is about to go down. Down it goes. <clears throat> and really the expo and, you know, four defenses you got here, five defenses, do not stand a chance. <clears throat> There's too many balloons. There's Valkyries in there. The Queen's in there. Very creative attack, DH. I really like this one. It's tree in the bag. Beautiful. Moving on. Oh yeah, I had a few in a row here. Twenty-six. Sean just just rips through this base. Uh, so again, uh, Queen sort of walk with a uh, with a Govo, right? It is still very viable. Again, guys, you just really need to be very conscious of how much time your your walk or charge is taking, and at a certain point make sure you have your kill squad moving in i mean 45 seconds um you know you're, you're looking at something like that you know when you got two minutes 15 seconds to go i mean it definitely you don't want to push it past two minutes because you're just not going to have enough time to clean up the base at least uh at least more often than not so uh sean moves in here takes out this defensive king he's going to really just walk right into this compartment take out all of these defenses here um i believe he was i believe there's bombs in on both sides here uh, there's definitely traps in there though the queen's gonna work in here just continue to get all of this value there's no real threat to her whatsoever over here now <clears throat> so in comes the kill squad uh one goal right funnels getting created already <clears throat> just has to buy a little bit of time to make sure this storage goes down as soon as that happens we're just gonna jump into this here and send in five valks behind and take out another big chunk of the base and get the defensive queen 
And as soon as that all takes place, he's got 19 hogs he's still going to send in for basically only one quadrant of the base. Uh, so that is beautiful. Valks are now in. Jump spells down. Going to take care of this Tesla farm drops. Reinforcement hogs to help these Valkyries, help this kill squad out. Heal goes down right over top of all that stuff. Valks locked onto that P.E.K.K.A. came out of the CC. Down it goes. Hogs working through those Teslas like nothing. Valks are in. Defensive queen is down. So really there is not a lot left of this base. Still has six hogs in the bag he's going to send in it's reinforcements from the three o'clock side over here two down in the mortar gonna be a few on these kit in this cannon here <clears throat> can clearly see this base is done for so many hogs barely lost any hogs there sean seeing those uh mini bomb traps more and more um you know what like they do quite a bit of damage to the hogs um you can make them viable in your bases guys i mean so many people will always 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 send a test wall breaker so a lot of times it's a moot point to put them outside i mean you always kind of want that threat to be there but people are going to drop them regardless if they're there or not so it's kind of a little tricky if you can set up another little uh little mini bomb trap there very sexy hit sean nice job 23 dws flexing the six pack this war <clears throat> Really nice job. Actually, DW, I was going to show you your previous attack, and then I noticed you had a six-pack and watched this attack, and I'm like, nope, I'm showing this one. I really like this one. <clears throat> Uh, just a very simple funnel here. Couple quick wizards, right? Drops uses this breadcrumb right here. Couple wizards in behind. Queen goes down immediately and go these Valks before this uh, wizard tower goes down. So now they're in the base. They're going to lock in on this queen. Nice quick poison down on that queen. Slow her right down. <clears throat> down she goes and really they're just going to mop up the rest of this compartment here that queen chamber is very large uh, a lot of buildings in there out comes this lava hound from the cc uh, which isn't a huge deal uh, because he's brought um, air on the backside anyways just wants to make sure this one air defense goes down now generally when you only bring three lava hounds you want two air defense dead um, i believe both of dw's hits he only got the one air defense and uh i <clears throat> uh, only brought three lava hounds now i believe the reason for this being is uh <clears throat> the way these air defense are set up yeah they're very good and, and backed off and protected from queen walks um but realistically dw picks this apart sorry i should be showing up here dw picks this apart kind of just one section at a time um you know balloons kind of in on each compartment just letting the lava hounds work their way through the base haste goes down he does not have any lava hounds left at this point um so it does it is looking a little scary and in fact the loons die out here but he's got all of these uh pups kind of going to start working their uh, way around the back end the queen is literally about to start uh breaking into this core right now is going to step up and help king is in there doing cleanup on the other side <clears throat> oh if he just got that whiz tower down it would have been so much easier than it <laughs> than it turns out being gonna fast forward this just a little bit so drops this one solo balloon just wants to help try and take down that cannon as soon as possible just keep his king alive just keeps the king alive in time there boom lava hound burst but it doesn't matter there's literally one building to go tree in the bag for dw nice job buddy all right Mm -mm -mm, 21 oh another another six pack flex over here caddick the dutch sensation um he i like this little th i don't know if he knew if it was a golem but um uh, maybe he did i've been seeing this more and more lately guys um at least in the last few wars i've been in uh, these very 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 offset clan castles in my opinion I think you definitely want to make them invest at least five troop space um, to lure out your CC. And on top of it, if it's a very easy lure, I don't think you want to put a golem in there. Um, you know, you, you kind of want uh, want something to have to stand there for a very long, uh, quite, a, quite a long amount of time uh before it comes over cat doesn't even need to bring a poison right so uh, is able to bring the earthquake not have to worry about bringing a poison at all has two heels still left now this huge huge piece of this base wide open valks are moving in there everything's just getting popped one at a time very quickly the tesla farm is basically done for bam bam it's got to get that lone tesla there 
<clears throat> so not a lot left of this base has already sent in hawks kind of helping this queen out um she's in a, she's kind of just going to continue her walk all up and get a ton of value now um ends up triggering that dgb which is great doesn't really matter because it was diffused anyways um but triggers it with only a few hogs so absolutely perfect has a bunch more hogs you know a few coming in from here and then eight more coming in from the three o'clock spot heal one goes down to help help out the valks at the same time i love that uh second heal is about to go down so maybe a touch late with all those skeletons you just missed it but hog gets back into the heel just in time <laughs> a couple could lose a couple of spring traps but this base is clearly done for <clears throat> i think the cannon will be the last building to go down yep and is tree in the bag for caddick nice job buddy <clears throat> all right well enough of the town hall 10 action or sorry town hall 9 action Let's get on to these tens. Um, you know, fantastic job by a lot of guys, right? Um, you know, doing their doing their work, seeing three ten versus ten trips is just absolutely fantastic. Really, really uh, is is what it came down to uh, for us winning the war. So uh, thanks a lot, guys. That was an awesome performance up top this war. Um, and we're just gonna kind of see how this plays out. And Polly brings twenty Valks with ten hogs on the back end few wizards for funnel and go a bunch of giants going to open up this wall here <clears throat> so all these giants are going to go and start soaking up these multi inferno shots and sends one valk a couple valks go straight it actually works out kind of nice because they do some tanking for this wizard and get quite a bit of value so waits and waits and perfect timing now the rest of the valks are all going to go into this core giants are soaking up most of the multi inferno down it goes so rage goes down just going to blow through this wall in one second anyways i just did that too i think that was an eight tile earthquake miss there um i literally just did that in um uh, in a war on my town hall 10. <clears throat> anyways king's in there uh just kind of rocking through this stuff now what i thought was interesting about this hit i, I think this is the one um this inferno tower doesn't go down this stuff's about to pitter out hogs are coming in now they are going to get to about this point and just get shredded now by this multi inferno <clears throat> And then the queen, sorry, that was right. And then, the, uh, like, so I was watching that. And I didn't really see the queen on the back end. And I was wondering how um, how this inferno was going to go down. But the queen steps up with a sliver of health here. Just absolutely just goes beast mode. Ends up ripping through all this stuff. There's a mortar left to go. Definitely a bit of cleanup, but definitely going to be a three-star. Very sexy hit, Polly. <laughs> Look at that sliver of health. Love it. Right, DI seems to be getting very, very consistent and actually just got promoted to our Town Hall 10 War General. Uh, so congrats, my friend. Well deserved. You've been putting a lot of work, helping guys with a lot of plans uh, and really have led the charge, I would say, since, you know, from when I have 2.0 a while back. Um, you know, we had some Town Hall 10 solidified and we went through some transitions. We lost some guys to various reasons and we had a lot of new, new, new Town Hall Town Hall 10s. And DI is one of the guys um, within that group that I think was kind of evolved from the beginning and really just has helped everyone progress and transist. And you're the man, DI. So uh, congrats on the promotion. I'm really excited to have that because uh, definitely 2.0 needed a, needed that position solidified. So uh, really, really happy to have you. And really happy to have you attacking here too because uh, beautiful little queen charge. Yanks out the CC. Everything taken care of up there. Funnel is created for the Valks. There's nowhere for them to go but right down into this core here. <clears throat> Sends in hogs in kind of a straight line here. They're going to just kind of walk down beside uh, the kill squad. Now, uh, Valk's sitting there beating on the wall instead of going over to this queen. Thought that was kind of funny. Uh, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, you know, everything is just pressing in. As you can see, everything's just converging on this last multi. Does lose a few hogs there, but most of them are safe because of the uh, perfect, perfect trigger on those hogs. That could have been uh, that could have been the raid right there if they had just triggered the other one a little bit earlier. But no big deal. Um you know, they do pit her out here, and a queen does serious work. A queen goes into serious beast mode here. That's right. Um, this is this is the attack I was thinking of, not that last attack. Um, you look at this, and I was really worried, because all he's gone here is a wizard on the outside and a minion, 
and his queen with the healers on it. Um, so she jumps up here to start taking this inferno, but she is just going to rip through the rest of this base like nothing. This level 40 queen is like, ah, oh, whatever, inferno, arch tower cannon, I don't care. Let's just get through this stuff, and I'm going to pop my ability right now. See you later, inferno tower. See you later, arch tower. See you later, cannon. Boom. And just splash damage to go. Queen's just got to mop through this stuff. And it is a three star in the bag. <clears throat> Sexy hit, DA. Very nice. And one more. South fans getting back on the board. Love it. I think South fans had taken a little break for a while. I'm not sure... Um, I don't know. Anyways, but South Fence really, uh, really coming back here uh, is really nice because he was uh, another guy actually that, you know, was um, one of the very new Town Hall 10s back when we lost a bunch of our top Town Hall 10s. So, um, you know, self Fence, definitely appreciate how you've helped uh, helped us progress out there because uh, as you can see, you know, uh, these Valkyries are just deadly in uh, inside bases. If you can lock down the jumps perfectly just like that, you know, take care of the CC troops in some sort of fashion. Really just do your best to funnel everything, funnel the Valks at the Inferno Tower so the Inferno Towers go down ASAP. Then you got a really good shot at pulling off a three-star like this. Now, um... You want to generally bring some sort of back end units like uh, South Fence does here. DI does the same thing. Um, you know, bringing a pack of hogs, 12, 10, 12 hogs. I, I didn't know, didn't see what the number was. But they're just going to help your kill squad, help that Valk kill squad progress through the base and, and not pitter out. So that's kind of the goal here. See how low all these hogs are, but they are really helping out. They're going to get over to this Tesla, I think, just in time and take it out. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Oh, by a sliver. The hog could have spit on it as it died and it would have went down. But it doesn't matter. Four or five Valkyries up top here are going to walk around doing cleanup. Queen's going to start busting through this base, end up taking out this Tesla and uh, Sweeper. No problems. Uh, really just got to worry about this a little bit. But I think there's enough Valk to deal with that one cannon and a Wizard Tower. Really kind of worked out because the Queen and this stuff end up meeting up um, at kind of a very crucial time. Come on, Queen. Fast forward this. Boom. Take down the Tesla. Sweeper. She hustles on over there. Box go back. And it's a tree in the bag for SF. Nice job, buddy. <clears throat> Sexy time. All right. Sexy war. Guns. Really nice uh, bully. I'm not going to show it. Not a lot to learn from the uh, anymore from the... 11s bullying these uh, these 10s, but uh, still I wanted to make uh, honorable mention of that attack because also contributed you know to our two star victory up top here. So uh, hey, really nice war 2.0 uh, and King Jeffrey, thank you for the arranged was an absolute blast. So uh, appreciate uh, appreciate your time and your good efforts because you guys are beasts over there. Uh, had a lot of very sexy attacks and really nice base designs uh, on top of it. So um, King Jeffrey, stand up guys 2.0. Fantastic war. Gonna call it here though. Uh, that'll do it for your wisdom from Wiser. Just trying to help the bag that next tree start. Till then, I'm out.